Oh, hey everybody. I just came back from the most amazing massage ever. My RMT is back from being gone for eight months and I got the first appointment and I feel good. But before we get to this video, let me freshen up and look a little bit more presentable, okay? Oh, so much better. So in this video, I wanted you to get to know me a little bit better. And one thing you need to know about me is that I love TV shows. I love movies, but I love TV shows the absolute most. I am absolutely obsessed with TV shows and I will give anything a chance. I will watch anything and I'm into all of the genres, pretty much all of them. I have a difficult time with the some period pieces like Game of Thrones, but do or not burn me at the stake for that. I tried. I gave it even two seasons, but I just can't get into it. But that's another story. But since I love television so much and I love movies, I really love actors. I wanted to become an actor when I was a kid. I even tried for the drama school in Iceland. It did not go as planned. Um, when I was in 10th grade in Iceland, when you're in 10th grade, you're 16 years old, we were asked to create a vision board. And on my vision board, I put down an Oscar winner. Because back in those days, the highest honor an actor could receive was an Oscar. But now that TV is so much better than movies, I wish I had put down a Golden Globe or an Emmy. My classmates laughed at me when I put down an Oscar winner, but one day this YouTube channel will take off and they will hand out Oscars for best YouTube personality and I will be the one laughing in their faces. Mark my words. Or someone will discover me and I get to be in a movie and I win an Oscar for that or like once I get a handle on my accent and, and my grammar. So since I love TV and movies so much and actors and I admire their craft so much and I so desperately want to be one of them. So when life went into unexpected turns and I ended up moving to Vancouver, British Columbia, just to find out that so much of television is filmed here, I was thrilled and I couldn't wait to actually live here and run into celebrities and running into celebrities I have. Sometimes by chance, and sometimes because I'm lucky enough to be invited to rap parties because I know someone who works in the film industry. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the nicest celebrities that I've ever met. And I would like to put an asterisk and say, I have yet to meet a celebrity that isn't nice, but these ones were complete standouts. But before we get to this video, please make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, thumbs up, leave a comment, thank you, share with your friends. So the first celebrity I met when I lived in Vancouver was the one and only Prince Charming. From Once Upon a Time, also called Joss Dallas. And let me tell you, he is Prince Charming in real life. I am not surprised that Jennifer Goodwin snatched up that man candy. So at the time I was living downtown Vancouver in Yale town and in the tower that I was living in is a grocery store. In that block are some hotels that celebrities and TV actors often get put in. So there is a lot of them around there and there are even some celebrities that live there. I was getting home from dodgeball practice when I saw him leave the grocery store. I wasn't sure if it was him. It was dark, it was rainy. It's always rainy and dark in the winter time in Vancouver. So I decided to do a very awkward loop around and luckily enough for me, he was feeding the meter for his car when I run into him and I go, hey, are you Josh Dallas by any chance? And he just goes, hey, yeah, for sure. And I start gushing about how much I love Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time is one of my favorite shows. And he is one out of two celebrities I've ever asked for a photo with. And I ask him if I could take a photo with him. And he is so incredibly gracious. And he is more charming than Prince Charming. I am completely starstruck 
and I can't possibly hold my phone still because I am shaking because I'm a weirdo when it comes to TV actors and people that I admire. I get starstruck so easily. So this is the result. Luckily enough, it's clear enough that you can tell it's him. I hope so. I hope you believe me. The next celebrity that is so incredibly, incredibly out of this world nice when you meet them is the unbelievably handsome Arjun Gupta. He plays Penny on The Magicians. I live with someone who worked on The Magicians, so it's not a complete run-in, but I went to at least two, I think two, not three, rap parties for The Magicians, and Arjun Gupta would show up for them, and he would always give you the nicest hugs, and who doesn't want a hug from the most beautiful person on this planet? And I don't know if he really remembered me, but he did a very convincing job at pretending that he remembered me year after year. Maybe he's just a really good actor. The third celebrity that I have ran into that I admire so much is our very own well, I'm saying that like I'm already Canadian, but I'm not already Canadian. Samantha B. TV's funny woman, the first woman that will eventually win the Emmy for late night host. Turns out she owns a house or lives in a house or owns a cabin or was staying at a cabin in the neighborhood. So I ran into her at my local grocery store. I wasn't sure at first if it was her, but as awkward as I am, but I always want to make sure, I just went around and checked the candy on the pegs and then like peeked around. And when I was certain it was her, I went up to her and I was like, excuse me, but are you Samantha B? And she immediately said yes. And I told her how much I love her, like I always do, because I'm a star star. And I'm a little bit crazy when it comes to celebrities and people I admire, because I want to be one of them. And she was incredibly gracious incredibly nice we had a way longer chat than i would ever expect anyone the poor woman was just trying to get her groceries and here i was being all megalomaniac in her face but it's an encounter that i'll never forget thank you samantha b and your podcast is awesome so i don't know if you've noticed but i tend to wear a lot of superhero t-shirts on my youtube channel and there's a reason for that because i love superhero movies and superhero shows. DC has the best TV shows. Marvel has the best movies. It is what it is. It was a privilege and an honor that I got to attend The Flash's 100th episode, Bash. They invited the entire cast of the TV universe of DC Comics. Let me tell you, I could not hold it to get the uh, uh. There was everybody there, all of my favorite superheroes, and they're all so nice. But there was one standout. I happened to sit at the table next to the cast of Supergirl. And when I say cast, I mean the cast. And I was sitting there the entire evening trying to keep it together, not be a total fangirl that I usually turn into, but... I had a, there was an open bar, so I had a few beers, and I got, got the courage. So I turn around, and I go to Miss Lena Luther, a.k.a. Katie McGrath, and I'm like, I know you so much. I'm so happy that you're in the show. And let me tell you, it was very well received. She immediately was so incredibly gracious, and she loved, well, I think she did, she might just be a really good actor, but she really appreciated me telling her that because, I don't know, when you're at a rap party, you kind of try and treat the stars of the show as normal people and not be a starstruck fanboy. I, I do my best. I do my best. I try to keep together. But her immediate response 
was to introduce me to the entire cast. Then she was just like, join us for a drink. There is nothing more nice than when a celebrity takes her time to make you feel valued as a fanboy. And I love that. This next celebrity has an incredible tenacity to make you feel more important in the world than they are. Which is... Mm. Like, okay, the TV stars and celebrities are maybe not more important than other people in the world. But, like I said, I'm a megalomaniac. I, I, I put them on a pedestal that is insane and I shouldn't do it. But I'm, I'm a rational human being. My favorite TV show of all times, my favorite superhero show is The Flash. So... Nothing in the world beats when I got to meet Tom Cavanaugh. Damn, is he a nice person. I just wanted to say a quick hello to him. I was just passing him by the bar and I just wanted to tell him what a fantastic job he has been doing. He had been like directing and doing stuff for the show and like his input was noticeable in the show. Same with Daniel Pennebaker. Um, I had a briefer interaction with her because we were both busy at the time, but Tom Cavanaugh, we had a chance to chat. And all I wanted to do was to just talk about all the cool stuff that he's been doing on the show. But all he wanted to hear is what, what I was doing and how I was doing. And that was really nice and completely unnecessary because... I don't know, maybe he's just tired of talking about himself and it was a nice refresher. But I also know other people that have met him and the people that work with him that say that he is the most incredible and nice person ever. And for the final celebrity, it's a little bit of cheat because I know her brother, but she is so nice, so nice. Katie. Finley. Not only is she such a nice person to run into and have a chat with if you are her fan, because she's the sweetest, but what a phenomenal actress. You may know her as Rebecca Sutter in How to Get Away with Murder or in The Killing, a phenomenal show where she played the titular victim, or as Elizabeth in Nancy Drew, or as Rory in Straight Up. Oh my god, everybody has to see Straight Up. She is freaking phenomenal in that movie. Where is her Oscar for that movie? But that aside, what a fun person. I happen to run into her with her brother at a piano karaoke, and that was my ultimate, ultimate awkward starstruck moment ever. And you can see that from this photo here. She's an incredibly, incredibly nice, accommodating person. And I feel very lucky to have met her. And I know this might not mean anything, to some people, but I know that some people like celebrities. So these are some of the nicest celebrities that I've met. I have met lots of others, and I say that like I'm bragging, but it's really just mostly work-related, so it doesn't mean anything. I don't know them. They're not my friends. I wish they were, though. But I just thought it was a fun way of getting to know me. So thank you for watching this video. So I hope you subscribe, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share it with your friends, make me trend, whatever it takes. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye bye. Bye 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 bye.